Welcome back to Outbound Gaming. Today we're looking at the top five games that deserve a sequel. This is specifically games that have not announced a sequel yet. Where is it? Is it coming? Is there one in the works? Maybe? We're not sure. But if at any point during this video you see that a game you would love a sequel for is not included, let me know. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Definitely always like to uh, converse back and forth about gaming. We all love it. We all love talking about it. Let me know. Let me know what's, what would be on your list. Give me a top five. Give me your top five. I want to hear it. And at any point during this video, you say, I like this content. Please throw me a sub, throw me a like. Really keeps me motivated to keep going. I'm telling you, without that of motivation, it's hard to uh, spend hours and hours every day making videos. So anything you can do to support me, I definitely appreciate it. Definitely means a lot to me. Let's get started. Let's do this. If you try and rip the world apart, someone will always put it back together. You can kill dreams. You can kill innocence. You can kill freedom. But you can't kill progress. If you haven't caught on by now, this game is called Deus Ex. Deus Ex is just incredible. It is what cyberpunk tried to be. It's what cyberpunk should have been. If you were excited for cyberpunk, there is absolutely no reason why you should not check out Deus Ex. Here's a little bit of a rundown. There are a couple of classic Deus Ex games available on Steam. My recommendation, even as a first-time Deus Ex player, is to ignore them. Simply ignore them. They're not bad in any way, but you don't need to play them, and they're kind of kind of old-style, you know? If you're into that, pick them up. They're great. They're, they're a fun time. But my strong recommendation comes with picking up Deus Ex Human Revolution, which was released in 2013, and Mankind Divided, which was released in 2016. The games feature an incredible cast of voice actors, a gripping story that is heavily impacted by player choices throughout the game, a ton of seekers that promote world explorations, multiple paths and ways to conquer a specific objective, and a combat system that utilizes stealth or guns blazing heavy action combat if that's your way to uh, approach any issue you have. You want to shoot the things, shoot the enemies, go for it. You can definitely do that. The games are usually available for under $5 each. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to find those. If you haven't played, I cannot recommend them enough. So here's some good news, though. On the topic of this video, sequels, right? Well, if you're a fan of Deus Ex, sounds like you may become one. I have some very good news. The original studio, Eidos Montreal, was acquired by Embracer Group in 2022, and there are some heavy rumors that Deus Ex sequels well, a sequel, is being worked on. And these aren't just baseless rumors, they do have some firm backing to make them more likely to be a, a real occurrence here. So, looking forward to that, we'll see what happens here. Fingers crossed for a Deus Ex sequel, because I, I would jump at the chance to play another one. Alright, let's move on. The world of days gone is breathtaking. You'll be tempted to stop and look out at the lush valleys, the many rivers and waterfalls, but don't. You're not a tourist here. You're fighting to survive. Days gone. Oof, this one released back in 2019 on PlayStation 4 and 2021 on Steam. It sold incredibly well, and it was a game I absolutely loved. From the massive world exploration to the hundreds and hundreds of zombies that chase you on the, at the same time. Just blew my mind. It was just a really, really enjoyable experience. The story was likable, the characters were likable, and I want to see more of it. I want to see a finalized story at the end. I want to see it actually close out 
just the way it ends right now. I'm not going to spoil anything. It just leaves you wanting more. It leaves you wanting more. You don't feel like it was it was really closed off at a good point, and I'm hoping that Sony gives it an opportunity to uh, to close it out on a on a high note. Because right now, unfortunately, I know this is this video is about sequels, and this one's just it doesn't have much good news. It doesn't have much news at all. Um, there was a point in time where I actually tweeted to the dev. I was so, like, in love with the game. When I finished it, I said, I want more. I tweeted to the lead dev and said, hey, would you would you do it? If, if Sony gave you the opportunity, would you make a sequel? And he, I'll throw it up on screen right now. He said, yeah. And so hopefully something happens in the future, but currently there is nothing on this one. Come on, Days Gone. See you, Days Gone 2. I'm looking forward to that. I hope we see it. All right, moving on to the next one. Before you flip out about this next one, hear me out. All right, hear me out. Four years have passed since the mortal races banded together and stood united against the might of the Burning Legion. Though Azeroth was saved, the tenuous pact between the Horde and the Alliance has all but evaporated. The drums of war thunder once again. Okay, like I said, hear me out. World of Warcraft, if you haven't caught on yet, that's what this is. Oh man, this cinematic gives me goosebumps. Throwback to what a 20 plus years ago, whatever it is. A sequel to WoW. I know there's been expansions. I know there's been fresh starts. There's been Season of Mastery. Shout out to the Season of Mastery dudes out there. That is not what I'm speaking of. I am speaking of a full-fledged sequel. The game, Retail WoW, is so convoluted. There's so much crap piled on crap and years of cosmetics and titles and achievements and things you can't get anymore and and just so many broken systems that have been changed and altered a million different ways it is time for a complete fresh start start from the beginning something brand new that all players can go into because it is very difficult to jump into wow retail wow not that i want to this is very difficult to jump into there because it's been going on for so very long. It's time to start anew. And I think WoW 2 has been spoken about for a long time. And I can't imagine why Blizzard hasn't decided to pull that trigger yet. And I know some people, we've had this discussion in my guild. For those of you who don't know, I run a big MMO guild. Uh, we had World's First Kill in Ragnaros and Season of Mastery Beta. Huge uh, success there. Had a great time with that. But anyway... We've spoken about this topic before, and a lot of people were like, well, they probably don't want to split the, split the population. Okay, that's that's a reasonable uh, conclusion to come to, but Final Fantasy XI, Final Fantasy XIV, it has been done before, it has been done very successfully. I cannot imagine why Blizzard wouldn't be able to succeed with this. It is time. It is time for a sequel. I'm ready to see it. I would absolutely jump into it, and I'm looking forward to seeing if Blizzard ever decides to do this. World of Warcraft 2. Let's see. Let's see if we get it one day. Who's that in the window? The damn kid. Get her! <laughs> Dogen sends his best. Enjoy your freedom. Faith Connors. Wherever I turn, there you are. <laughs> The only language you and your kind speaks is destruction. It's good to have you back, girl. Yes, it would be good to have it back, girl. Right? Mirror's Edge. So if you haven't played this game, it is a fast-paced kind of parkour game that has some combat thrown into it. It's there's some shooting. You'll also see that in the trailer here. Shooting, melee combat, while you're essentially trying to outrun anything that's chasing you whether it's people or a helicopter or some crazy stuff this story is good the voice acting is good the fast-paced movement is good and it looks fantastic the game originally released in 2008 for xbox 360 
in PlayStation 3. However, it was re-released in a remaster called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. That released in 2016 and is available on Steam. I would highly recommend checking this one out. It definitely was a great inspiration for some games like Dying Light. It was like pretty groundbreaking for when it released. And I'm hoping that it seems to uh, see some love someday soon and, and we see a, uh, a sequel in the future. having guessed by now this game is metro exodus metro the metro series i really do enjoy these games i thought they were great all of them really enjoyed them metro 2033 metro last light and then this is metro exodus i believe this game deserves another sequel they do a great job at uh making these games every one of them was fantastic uh it released in 2020 on steam it released a year earlier on a really really crappy platform on pc and we don't we don't like we don't discuss <laughs> we don't enjoy its presence uh so there was some controversy there hopefully they learned their lesson with that and uh we don't see that happen again in the future for a potential sequel so here's to a sequel for metro last light and uh if you made it this far in the video we do have a section at the end here we're gonna have a little 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 mention of some other games ready let's do it All right, this next part here. You didn't think I'd forget these, right? You didn't think I'd forget these four things, right? They were too obvious, though. They were too obvious to make it into a full segment of their own. So I just wanted to include them in the get together at the end. Otherwise, people could be like, how could you not mention Half-Life 2? It's just too obvious. I want it. I want a sequel to all of these. Trust me. We need to get a kindergarten teacher over to Valve to teach them one, two, three. three. Three valve. We need to make sure you you know how to do that. Reach that number three. I kid, but but please, I'd like to live to see a legitimate sequel to these games. And don't give me that VR bullcrap. All right, Half Life Alex does not count as a sequel to Half Life. That's not good enough. I want a legitimate, full fledged, Valve high quality sequel. Okay. We get these sequels in this video, and I'll be happy for a month. All right, and then I'll be looking for the next game. <laughs> so thank you for watching if you made it to the end of this video i definitely appreciate that if there's anything else that's not on this list that you would include let me know in the comments i really do want to hear it there are some more games i'd love to see sequels for but they didn't quite make it to the list maybe i'll do a part two but let me know in the comments what are you looking for what sequels would you jump at the opportunity to play thank you so much for watching i appreciate the support Throw me a sub, like, all that good stuff that, that you hear on YouTube. I really appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to spend more time making these videos instead of playing my games. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. Later.